children, my name is Mrs. Nisha Bhatti. Some of you must be knowing me and I will be teaching you social studies in class 3. As you all know that the deadly disease coronavirus is spreading. So I hope that you all are staying at your homes with your parents. Be at home and be safe. Sure. Let's start with our, new, with our first chapter, changes, changes in our family. Now what is a family? Family is a group of people who are closely related to each other. They love each other. They share their sorrows and joys together. Family is the first school of life. It teaches us moral values like tolerance, sharing, cooperation. We learn, we eat together, we laugh together and we pray together in a family. Generally, there are two types of families. Two types of families are joint family and nuclear family. Now what is a joint family? A joint family is a family where two or more generations live together. Who all lives in a joint family? In a joint family, in a joint family, father, mother, Grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, siblings, cousins live. Together. And they are lovingly called Dadaji, Dadiji, Chachi, Chacha, and Bhai Behen. So they all live together happily. This is a joint family. Children used to listen to the stories from their Dadi Ma. They used to play with their Dadaji and they used to play together games like Kabaddi, hide and seek. Now the second type of family is nuclear family. What is a nuclear family? Nuclear family. These families consist of parents and their children. They generally have four numbers. mother and two children two children nuclear family is a small is a small Family. Nuclear family consists of father, mother and their two children. Nuclear family is a very small family. The uh, children in nuclear family cannot play with their grandparents and they used to visit their grandparents during vacations. 
The children in nuclear family devote much of their time in watching television or playing games on computer or on mobiles. Some children are either staying with their mother or their father. Such type of family is known as single parent family. In some families, both mother and father are working. Such type of families are known as working parents families. In such type of families, children have to do their work themselves or they are assisted by their mates. Now change in the size of the family, birth of a sibling. Birth of a sibling refers to the change, to the addition of a new member in the family. It denotes the birth of a brother, sister who can play with them. The baby takes birth in a hospital and his, her arrival is celebrated by the entire family. The birth of a sibling changes the structure of the family as it adds a new member in the family. A marriage can also increase or decrease the size of the family. For example, if your father, sister or your elder sister is getting married, so she will uh, and she goes to live with her husband. So in this way, the size of the family decreases. And on the other hand, if your elder brother or your father's elder brother is getting married, a lady will come to live with you. So in this way, the size of the family will increase. So marriages are the occasions where, like occasions of great happiness and enjoyment. Relatives come from other cities to or countries to take part in the celebration. Children also enjoy these occasions. They get new clothes on the occasion of marriage. Right. Now at last, I am telling some important points to you. Family. the collective name given to the people who are very dear to us. Dear to us. Next. Family is the smallest unit of the society. more generations live together. A family can be of Joint family Nuclear family Nuclear family A joint family is a family where parents and grandparents live together. It is a big family. Nuclear family is a small family
their children live with their live with their parents the size of the family changes the size of the family changes by the birth of the sibling now i hope that the chapter is clear to you and i ask you all to revise the work